Welcome back everybody for more Tariko Unveiled. Continuing where we left off with Daros and the Mother Snake, we lunge back into the gourmet world. This time, however, I hope you brought your sea legs because we're going to Area 6. Now this video is going to be a bit longer than the last one, as Area 6 has so many nuances about it I had to edit down a lot to just fit the video time. So please, if you don't mind, leave a like, especially if you've been liking the A Kings Explained series. Beginning. Area 6 is the zone of the gourmet world that has third smallest amount of landmass of all the areas, beating only Area 1 and Area 3 in size. Like Area 2, Area 6 is not actually a single continent, but a whole region of ocean that has three smaller continents within. Additionally, Area 6 is also an ingredient, being known as the Stock Sea. The further one goes within the depths of the massive ocean, the tastier the water gets, and each layer can be made into a separate soup. Which is weird, cause you know a lot of animals swim around in it, but to Rico logic. The land masses form the Black Triangle, a particular zone of Area 6 that holds a pitch black sea. This possibly a reference to the Bermuda Triangle, and now that I think about it, whatever actually happened with that. The vast sea is said to have swallowed an asteroid the size of the moon, meaning this ocean absorbed the impact of a cosmic event and nothing happened. The moon is roughly one fourth the size of Earth and about as wide as the United States. And for those that think this is an exaggeration, remember, blue shell by itself is stated to be about the size of the United States. If the moon hit the Earth, the collision would break the planet immediately into large fragments. Amongst the planet shattering and the amount of devastation released, there would be the magma release from the Earth's core that would cause an unheard phenomenon. An impact like this would change the literal axis of the Earth and set loose firestorms. Yes, I literally mean storms of fire. And well, none of that happened here because the Black Sea absorbed the impact, though I believe it was Moon who ate the asteroid. Remember, the Eight Kings all possess some sort of danger radar for things that could cause them problems and or threaten their life. I theorize that if an asteroid this large hit even the Tariko Earth, while it wouldn't destroy the planet, it certainly reshape or severely damage. Whatever eight king that was potentially in the meteor's landing area was likely the one that took care of it as it fell within their territory. Within this vast sea is another one of Akasha's fable full course ingredients. Another, perhaps the most important of the full course, another awakens the tongue of one's gourmet cell demon. Unlike what we know about the majority of the full course, another actually has a massive effect on its surrounding environment. Long ago, it was another that created the back channel. When another was attempting to escape the Well King Moon, it was able to move at such speeds that it was able to exceed the speed of light, entering and creating a different plane of existence known as the back channel. Another also needed safety outside of just running from the Well King, so it found shelter near the Seven Beast, seven incredibly powerful predators that are second to none but each other and the Well King Moon within Area 6. It additionally hid within the massive mollusk we know as Blue Shell. By proximity, another's alternate space altered the area around all of the organisms that it took refuge with, making them safe zones. So yeah, a singular fish species is responsible for an entirely different dimension. Remember when I said Tariko as a whole is just an evolutionary arms race. Another is one of the hardest dishes in Toriko to prepare, and with a capture level of 8,000 and a cook time of 600,000 years, Though thanks to the chef team and mainly Komatsu and a visit from the food spirit, they got it finished in 65 within the back channel. With all of that out of the way, now for the reason that this fish had to reach the speed of light. Perhaps one of the more infamous of the Eight Kings, the Well King Moon. Rumored to be the mightiest of the Eight Kings, Moon is the ruler of the oceans of Area 7 and comes in at a whopping 10,000 meters long or 6.21 miles and a 1.5 million metric tons. As always, for scale, Moon is nearly 30 times larger than the world's biggest aircraft carrier and weighs roughly about as much as seven and a half cruise ships. Though I don't know the measurements when it's outside of its asteroid. Yeah, by the way, Moon wears an asteroid as a sort of armor, I guess. This asteroid encompasses most of Moon's main body and the purpose wasn't really known. And after the armor is broken, Moon looks more like a standard, but also roided out blue whale. Like all the kings, we know Moon greatly affects his environment. Its size alone would result in biblical levels of destruction simply for movement on the ocean floor, causing tsunamis, and perhaps this supports the crazy environment within Area 6 such as the conveyor belt islands. 
as said earlier, Well King Moon is the reason for the open availability of back channel usage in Toruko. That is because in Area 6, a massive ocean spanning most of the gourmet world, Moon reigns as the supreme being by using its ability to literally create black holes. And I do believe that this is more of a species ability as it is called a black hole well, but it does this and consumes everything, even the light around it. This black hole leading to the literal spirit world that is within Moon's stomach, so the amount he can absorb is likely infinite or close to it. How Moon does this, I don't know. It literally defies physics as black holes are formed when massive stars die and their core collapses under the force of gravity. The intense pull of a black hole is so strong that it creates regions of space which nothing can escape, not even light. Black holes theoretically pull with 69 million miles of force and along with the distorted space, nothing can escape the pull of it. This is why the area of the ocean within Area 6, that is the Black Triangle, is pitch dark. Moon literally consumes the light in the area. With what we know, I guess the more accurate way Moon creates black holes is by creating a miniature star and collapsing it. The star creation theory is also supported by the fact that the Crow King can form suns, and Don Slime additionally also formed a miniature star. So for a second, let's get experimental. If a black hole opened on Earth, it would immediately, once again, cause destruction. All the matter in the area of the black hole would be sucked inside with greater force than the planet's own gravity. The matter being sucked into it would, in basic terms, superheat, causing the immediate vicinity to become millions of times hotter than the sun. This ability in and of itself puts the scale of not only the eight kings, but the entire planet into perspective. This planet is so large and specialized that it can sustain no notable damage from a black hole being generated, though with what we know it's likely the Earth may be protected by food spirits or etc. It's odd Moon was rumored as the strongest, but it's likely because of how powerful its ability is. The other eight kings have to be beings capable of matching or exceeding the feats presented by Moon, which we know by now they can. Every time I go back into this series, I do find a lot of just super crazy facts and comparisons that make me fall in love with Toriko all over again. That being said, Area 6 is one of the most explained areas in the manga, and if you'd like to know more about Area 6 and the Civilization Blue Grill itself, let me know down below in the comments and I'll make a more detailed video on it. But without further ado everybody, remember to stay sane and stay safe, and give thanks for the great bounty of information within the Toroko universe. Itadakimasu.